Bennett, this is the ramble. It goes on until uh, midnight Eastern Daylight Time here on the uh, left coast of the United States of America. Okay? All right. Anyway, uh, hi, how are you? I'm, uh, uh, I'm tired again tonight. He, last night, I, you know, for a week, I've been really proud of myself. For a week, I haven't used a Xanax or anything else to put me to sleep. I've just gone hit the sack, and sometimes I take a hit of the... Uh, of the pot, a little bit of the pot to get me drowsy, but outside of that, I was uh, I was just fine. Okay, so uh, I um, um, uh, last night I was like I was stressing over stuff. I have problems. I haven't talked about them yet, and I uh, I've been very quiet about them. And uh, some nights I don't even feel like coming on. I'm so depressed about them. <laughs> but I I, I and I, I may talk to you about them eventually, but not. I haven't felt like it lately, but anyway. So I, I went to bed. I, I always go on the uh, I always go on the internet and I look up uh, medical issues, and uh, then I try to go to sleep. I'm nuts, right? The wrong thing to do. So anyway, uh, I've I, you know I've I've got something that's been bothering me, and I haven't been able to sleep. But what I've done is I've found that by not taking the Xanax. Uh, I, uh, I still get a good night's sleep, okay? But last night, I just couldn't go to sleep because my brain was just blah, 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 blah. this thing, that thing, whatever. And uh, quite frankly, it would be very nice if I could one night go to bed without a problem in the world. And um, it, it happens, you know, it it's, uh, sucks. It sucks. So anyway, why am I telling you this? Does it matter? Do you care? Do you really want to know this bullshit from me? Uh, not probably not. You know. I just uh, you know I I one of the things I guess that depresses me is that uh, every day I hear something that makes me want to be here when it happens. Uh, and uh, today, of course, uh, tomorrow is the twenty the fiftieth uh, anniversary of the moon landing. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of stories about it, and then there are the big things about when, where are we going to go from here? And uh, they say that by 2024 we will be back on the moon. Maybe not NASA, but uh, SpaceX or somebody like that. Okay, and that by uh, within 20 years we'll be on Mars. Well, I wanted to see that happen. Okay. I wanted to see us go to Mars. And I figured when we went to the moon, hey, you know, another 20 years, we'll get to Mars. But then we stopped. We stopped doing it all. We lost interest in, in, in the space program, which means we're kind of stuck with each other here on Earth, okay? So, uh, it, but I looked forward to the fact that before I died, I would see us on Mars. And we could have been if we had just kept going, but we didn't keep going. And now it's possible for us to probably go to Mars. Uh, a lot of these things which were very difficult back 50 years ago are not as difficult today because of the technology we have, the rocket power we have, the technology and so forth, which will make going to the moon just a breeze. In fact, I think the Chinese have already landed a, uh, a a probe on the moon. Uh, there's already one up there on the on the on the dark side of the moon. Uh, so uh, the, the space race is on again, uh, and if it isn't going to be us, it's going to be somebody else. So well, the first footprint on Mars may not be uh, an American, maybe a Chinese, maybe uh, it may be any one of a dozen different countries, or uh, it. it and in fact, you know, the guys that are, are, are involved in the space program, like SpaceX, which is uh, Elon Musk, he may not live long enough to see us land on Mars. But he certainly is doing a lot to get us there. Uh, and so all the people that are like the, uh, 
the people who are driving the space program now uh, may not live long enough to see it come to fruition. And that's, uh, that's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, but, uh, you know, we never went back uh, after the, what, five missions I think we had there. And I always felt, well, that's just stupid. I mean, just stupid to go to that much trouble. Why? So we can leave a bunch of hassle blank cameras there, you know? Uh, bring back some moon rocks. You know, every one of the 50 states got a moon rock. Did you know that? Yep. Your state has a moon rock. Some states lost theirs, but every state got a moon rock. Uh, and uh, where did I see that they had the moon rocks? Uh, they had some moon rocks on display here in Manhattan. But anyway, you know, they're just rocks. Of course, they do have a slightly different molecular structure and so on. So they're... And they tell us a lot about the universe because it's stuff that's crashed into the moon that's made a lot of this rubble. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of space dust that we brought back. But anyway, be that as it may, I think it was a shame that 50 years ago we did that. And in those 50 years, I figured we could have gone to Mars and we could have been doing some other stuff too, you know. But no, no, we stopped at that point and just turned into NASA shipping and hauling, right? If you, wanted a, 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 if, you, if, you, if you wanted a satellite put into orbit, the cheapest way to do it, or one of the ways to do it, was you hired NASA to put it in the bay of the shuttle, and then you sent the shuttle up, and then uh, you opened up the bay, and then you pushed the uh, satellite out into orbit. And so that's what happened. And that was, you know. But it, it, that's as far as we've gone. We've w completely wasted the last 50 years and wasted the 50 years of my life. And, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I think I maybe got about two years left, maybe. Maybe, maybe more, maybe less. But, you know. Uh, and, and, and so I'm not going to be able to see that. I'm going to become star dust again. But, you know, that, that's a little, a little consequence because I'm not going to enjoy. I mean, I wish I could live forever just so I could see where things are going. Um, I wish I could live forever, so not, not because I enjoy life, because if anybody doesn't enjoy life more, it's me. I'm always, I've been in dire fear all my life of stuff, and I don't enjoy life to its fullest, okay? But I want to live forever so I can see stuff happen, so I can see these wonders take place. But, you know, I could live another 20 years, and maybe we wouldn't, we wouldn't even be anywhere close to Mars, because we didn't have the will to do it. Luckily, we do have private business now that is capable of sending up rockets, landing them, having them take off again. And, uh, you know, the stuff that Musk has been doing with these rockets that go up, and then when they come back, rather than land in the ocean and have to be retrieved, they, they come right back and land on, uh, on, a, on a launch plat pad uh, from where they took off. They were wonderful. That's just wonderful. And, and how that works for a place like Mars is a great thing because that means we can have people actually land and then they can take off again and then they come back here and then they can land it again rather than ditching these things in the ocean or having them be disposable. So we, we've come a long way, but it's Elon Musk and uh, to a lesser extent Jeff Bezos and to an even lesser extent the Virgin Galactic, uh, which is, uh, uh, what's his name? Forgetting his written name right off the bat. Um, somebody wrote, if Earth really escalates into all-out World War III, I bet a lot of space projects will be pushed back for decades maybe. Well, I don't see World War III, okay? I see World War 2.1, World War 2.2, 2 .4. I just don't see World War III. It's, you know, we know what the consequences of that would be. And, you know, it, it depends on whether we want to even call them that. I mean, couldn't we call some of these things that have happened in the last couple of years the, the, another world war? You know, um, the world as we know it war. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I, uh, I feel really bad about the fact that I wrote a, wrote a short story when I was younger. Uh, about a bunch of uh, guys, uh, how, they, how we have a... Uh, what do you call it, a, a 
mission to the moon, and they have have been able to make a take a mission to the moon, and they land, and what do they find there? But something that's already been there for years, as though man had been there once before. And the story went that, you know, we had been there before, but why didn't we ever go back? And that's kind of my little story has kind of become true. Um, we never have gone back, and there's no reason why we shouldn't have. We went to all that trouble, and then we just stopped. You know, we didn't build a, a colony there, or we didn't do anything like that. So, I don't know. But we got Tang, and that's good. Anyway, hey, listen, I want to play you something. I, I want to play you something because it's terrible. It's so embarrassing, that, but I love embarrassing myself. Uh, back in, uh, when, what, what year was it? Jeez, I can't remember what the year was. Maybe it was 19, um, maybe 91, I think. I did a, a special uh, at KBHK TV in San Francisco. It was called Alex Bennett Wired Again. At least that was the original title of Alex Bennett Wired Again. However, the people, those assholes over at Wired Magazine, said you can't call it Wired again because we're wired. And I went, you know, what, what, what the fuck is this? You know, the word wired is, you know, you get high. But that, that was kind of the double meaning. I was wired once, and now I'm wired again, but this time to electronics. And they said, you can't use that. We're going to sue you if you use the word wired by the way, they're fucking assholes over there at Wired Magazine. Anyway, I've held this against them ever since 1991, okay? So uh, we had to, at the last minute, The w what happened was we could have fought it, you know, but the station just went, look, you know, one special we're doing isn't worth years in court with, uh, with Wired Magazine. So they took what I, the title of it and said Wired Again, and they just scribbled it out, and that's how the logo was on the show. Uh, however, through various sources that I've been able to cull, okay, uh, I repaired it. So the, I now have a version of the show with the original Wired Again logo on it. And... And this was maybe the worst special ever done in the history of television. I mean, really, it was terrible. Um, I think it was partially because I hadn't learned a lot about how to use television. I did learn, and I, maybe I will show you on some other day, I will take a section out of that show and play it for you, uh, where I do a thing walking down the street with people. Uh, and talking to people and showing people my neighborhood. And that was the one thing in the whole show that worked. And when I then went over and started doing uh, the uh, uh, Wired Again, uh, not Wired Again show, Log On TV show at, uh, at uh, uh, KGO TV in San Francisco, I took some of what I learned from that one piece and adapted it to doing television you know, and doing video, and uh, found a style for myself that won me an Emmy Award, okay? And also that same thing that I learned about going around and talking to people and moving about, and so on, I applied to the thing that I did for the other Emmy I have, which is the Sports Emmy for the World Beta Breakers uh, show. So that was, that was the whole thing. I, I'm gonna show you the first opening and the first segment of this show, and you'll get an idea of how bad it is. Um, it, uh, but it certainly was a, 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 great, a great show. It was terrible. It was horrible. So I'm going to show you the first, the opening, and I'm going to show you the first segment. I'm not going to show you more because more would mean that I would be playing some music which then YouTube would say you don't have the rights to, and blah, 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 and I don't want to have to go through all that shit. Uh, even though we paid for the rights once before for the music, you know, because the TV station had rights to music. Uh, but I just, I want to play the first, this is about, this will last about, I guess, seven, eight minutes. I haven't timed it out. And uh, this was the opening 
uh, to the show that we did at KBHK, okay? The following program contains my son, Alex Bennett. Please consult me before having children. No, that's my face. That's that was it. excellent. That was excellent. Was that good? Yeah. Can you just go back and check that? I'm here with uh, Laurie Thompson, uh, Chuck Farnham. Hello, you're live on Live 105. Hey, Alex. Yeah, the hurly burly of day to day existence. We might hire some hookers. <laughs> and this is the absolute God honest truth. I'm back to the beginning of my career. I'm yeah. doing a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Call up and give me a ration. Yeah, reach inside. And me. I'm you wore a Live 105. <laughs> Oh, oh, I gotta tell you something. I got this crew ready to shoot. <laughs> Welcome back, Alex Bennett here, Live 105. The page is wet like for some reason. See, <laughs> yeah, I can't spell out loud. You know the problem with her, Chuck? The problem with Lori is she just hates computers. People. I think she hates computers. I don't hate wait, wait, computers. Wait, 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 wait. I am not wait. illiterate. I have a power book. I can print an invoice. That's all I need to do. That's it. All she cares about is something that'll get her money. That's yeah. because I like human-to-human -human contact. With a computer, you have... People-to-people -people contact. Well, here's how you can have human-to-human -human contact. I have a program in here called Taxi. Yeah. And what you do with that is you, like, find a restaurant if you if you want a restaurant. Or like, you can just walk well, around. Well, let, let, find let, one that way. Here's my website. All right. Eh? Yeah. Right there. Wow. Let me... Wow. <laughs> I can take you all... I can take you anywhere with my website. I'd like to really go there anywhere. I like getting out. I like meeting people. I like getting in cars. I like going to parties. I like actually doing something not just sitting in front of a little screen come join me in my website <laughs> is that the end okay, the damn it join me in my website i can't take this any longer do you people have any idea what this is like i'm getting okay. a, i'm getting an emmy for sure for this this is really okay. babble on five <laughs> If you really want to be wired, you got to get hardware, you got to get software, and you go into one of these places like this. What are you doing? Where is the Vogue? Where's the, the Vanity Fair? There, th this is a computer store, don't you notice? And, and these are computer magazines, you know, Wired, CD-ROM, Today, things like that. And the first person you've got to get to know when you come into your friendly computer store is, of course, your friendly computer clerk. How you doing? May I help you? There are three things you gotta have for a computer. Software, software, software. Here we go. You get all kinds of software, like Dr. Ruth's Encyclopedia of Sex, or the Bible. Oh, so you can sin, and then you can repent. Yeah. Well, which one would you take? I'll take the one with the most sex in it. Okay, the Bible. That's can I help fine. you? Huh? Do you no, need help? No, we're fine. We're doing just fine. We're just looking around the store. Thank you. It's Mac or PC? Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just looking around the store. I, I happen to have a PC, but I'm, I'm just looking at your, your software. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. If you could just leave us no, alone, we're just we're just looking. Can we're I looking around. We don't really like tire kickers in the store. Sir. I'm not a tire kicker. I am looking for software. I don't want to be bothered. When I'm ready, I will ask. Uh -huh. Okay. Sure. Fine. Good. Come we, on. We Lord. have a we're, sale on mouse pads. We're not interested. We're just have tried, looking. We have we're a just frequent looking. buyer program. We're looking. Sir. You know, we, you can save you 10 me percent alone. on every. Just leave me alone. Can I help you? I think I know what I want right now. Hey, uh, sir, I uh, need some help here. Oh, you again. Yeah, me again. Listen, I uh, need... Uh, uh, I'll be right with you. It's only going to take a minute. I'll be right with it's, you. It's uh, just going to be... I'll be right thing. with you. I know you'll be right with me, but what are you doing right now, Mr. Label Maker? Hi. Oh, hi. Can I help you? Yes, I need a SCSI to RS-232 interconnect. Coincidence? We have one right here. Great. Oh, you know what? Do you have one that's a little less expensive? Well, hold on a second. Here. There you go. Thank you. Sure. Alex, you know, he's really very sweet. You should be nice to him. Can you help me now? What is it you want? Well, I need a little more RAM. I'll bet you do. I'm talking about memory. Do you have any memory? Memory of what? You busting up the store? I need Sims. Sims? Yeah, memory chips. Sims? Sims. They fired him a month ago. What is it with you people in Sims? Fine, I'm looking for a SCSI port. Try Long Beach. Look, I mean the card you put in the slot. I never heard it put that way before. Do you have anybody here who knows anything about computers? 
What do I look like? Some Seattle espresso jerk? No, I just want to help a few friends get wired up. That's why they had to let Sims go. Listen, I'm sick and tired of you. I am just sick of this whole thing. I need help. I want help. Put that label maker down. Okay, I now I, I hope be, I didn't realize that it had music behind it because when I first saw it a while back, it, it was so low that I didn't uh, I didn't even see the music, hear the music. Uh, but uh, let's see what what if it gets through YouTube. I mean, we were talking through the whole thing. It was so low, and it's a version of uh, Up Up and Away that uh, doesn't exactly sound like Up Up and I don't know. Anyway. Uh, that wasn't that the worst thing you've ever seen. Now the the woman, of course, was Lori Thompson, who was my newswoman. Uh, and um, let me see here. Uh, uh, and that was John Dvorak, the uh, the uh, computer reporter journalist, uh, who made a special appearance on our show, uh, and was a friend, and uh, taught me how to drink wine a little bit. I'm not much of a drinker, but he taught me about one good wine. He Turn me on to. I'm trying to remember the name of it now, and that's all I ever drank. But anyway, uh, it'll be interesting to see after the show if you go and look, watch the show. Uh, if they put up a sign saying there is some uh, problems with uh, the uh, uh, with the music on it, you know, and it'll be banned in certain countries and what have you. But we'll see if it if it gets through okay, and if it doesn't, eh, fuck it, you know. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the phones here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Push the wrong button. Okay, let me get rid of that. That's uh, that's iTunes. I don't want iTunes. What do I want? Skype. What does Skype look like these days? Oh, there it is. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. As I uh, push the buttons here. Uh, so anyway. Uh, so I'm I'm here tonight, and uh, I plan on being here every night in the next couple of weeks. I guess, I guess, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I've just been I've been I've had this depression uh, for something I don't want to talk about, and uh, it, uh, it it's kind of profound. And some nights I just don't. Uh, some nights coming on the air here is a relief because it, it forces me to take my mind off stuff. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, I thank you all for that. Let me see here. Oh, here comes Josh Wheeler. Josh is, uh, an early adopter here. Let me, uh, let me find him. Uh, let me see here. There's Josh. Okay. All right, Josh. Uh, turn on your camera. And if you turn on your camera, Josh, you got... It's still loading up. It's still loading up, huh? Okay, because uh, I all I have is here. Here is it. oh, there we go. Okay, there he is. There he is. Hi, how you doing tonight? Uh, doing good. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming up on the screen now. I think right. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I've got you now. Finally. Wow, yeah. really slow tonight. You, have you got some? I hear, hear kind of a slapback of sorts. Let me turn this down here a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, everybody else, it's uh, time for you to call the program as well uh wasn't that a horrid video oh i don't know i kind of liked it <laughs> you know we'll we'll see if it gets through okay you know they may just say oh well you know it, it's okay but they will have to run commercials before your show or whatever yeah. as long um, as they send you some of the money as long as no they don't yeah i know <laughs> what they do is they say that that money goes to the advertise it goes to the uh the music rights person or whatever yeah. So you know, we'll we'll find out if it if it happens. No Phil tonight. I don't see him. You know, no. um, you know, it's just you. So quickly, right. what do you think of Trump? Uh, I before. think he's great. <laughs> he's you know I can I can say without a doubt he is the most fake tan president in the history of our great nation. He really is, isn't he? <laughs> there, you know, it's funny. There isn't an honest thing about him. 
<laughs> Even his skin isn't honest. His, yeah. ha his hair isn't honest. I mean, I think my wife said one time, she said, you know, you know, there has had to have been a time where someone showed up and said, I need to talk to the president or something. And someone had to say, well, he's tanning. <laughs> yeah. It'll be just a few more minutes or what? Well, you know what it is? You can tell that it's a, it, it, it's a, it's a booth tan is what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like that spray on. No, it isn't spray on. No, something it's a, I it's a booth tan. And how you can tell that. You ever notice that the, around his eyes here, it's kind of white? Yeah. It, you know? yeah. And that's because he has to wear those goggles. Right. He's, he's got the, the John Boehner thing going on. I mean, how, how many people here bet there's a tanning booth? In the White House. Well, there well there has to be. I mean, yeah, you know I mean? there has to be. Yeah. I mean, I don't know unless he uh, does some kind of uh, like marathon tan when he goes to Mar-a-Lago every fucking weekend or whatever. I don't know. Maybe they've got some kind of super duper fucking tanning booth down there or whatever. But uh, I'm sure we paid for something. Tanning booth, do da do da, super duper <laughs> tanning booth. All yeah, he is. Uh, you're right. There's not a uh, real thing about him. He is complete, utter fucking phony. I mean, yeah, it's just yeah. everything about him is false. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's uh, that's the that's the that's the only true thing I think we can agree on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We have uh, uh, John. Wait a minute. Oh, that, no, I I have you twice now. I see. I did something wrong here. I gotta gotta get the uh, what's his name here. There we go. Um, there we go. All right. Now, let's see. There he is. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, we have Josh and we have... Well, Jason. Jason. So <laughs> is there anybody out there who doesn't have a J starting their name who can call the show tonight? You know. Alex. Uh, huh? <laughs> I said, Alex doesn't have a J. Alex doesn't have a J. I'm but I am actually still. Jason Alex. So I went to the dentist today. I have this I have this dental insurance where I get twenty five hundred dollars a year, okay, uh, and I you know it's like fifty fifty copay and so on. So I figured eh, yeah you know, I better go take care of stuff. And so I was going to go get my implant right because I had a tooth pull. And um, all of a sudden uh, they say well first you got to get your teeth clean before we can do that. So I go get my teeth clean, but they can only do. <laughs> Now, this is the part I don't get. They can only do half the mouth today. What? Because my insurance will not pay for four quadrants at one time. <laughs> at one time. So I have to come back next week, right, to get the other half done. That sounds like you're being scammed. And then the, in, no, it, it's the, it, I said to my dentist, I said, why is that? And she said, don't ask me. It's the fucking insurance company. It's you know, there's there's a lot of them like that, honestly. Yeah. I mean, you know, but, my uh, wife always has to have it done that way. They do the top, and then she goes back, and they do the, you know, it's like, no wonder. But it's not, like they're, it's not like they're not going to pay for it. Uh, uh, yeah, on, I, I on, understand on, it. On, so uh, why wouldn't week? you just do all of it and bill it two separate times? Huh? <laughs> so why wouldn't you just do the whole cleaning one time? And then just bill two separate times. Well, I, that, I, I have no idea why they don't do that. Okay. Let me see. Here. Let me get... Let me get, get Dan, going. you have to be able to go into your settings and turn the microphone from auto to... I ain't said anything. Oh, oh Jesus. That's, you're loud. You're, oh. you're too yeah. loud. Your, your settings is on auto, so it, it tries to... It's like vacuuming the air for some noise, okay, and it, it creates a lot of Dan. noise. You have to go in okay. there. There's something Let me get off here. here and get in the settings. Okay? No, and, and also, put yourself in panoramic Ooh. mode, please. Okay, well, I just did that so I could get off the phone. But... Well, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, well, do what you got to do to get the phone going, I guess. Oh, yeah. Right. Let me uh, go it's over better here. Better now. Put, uh, put the... Because uh, he talked, but if he stays quiet for a while, it'll go back to the auto setting. And... There's, there's yeah. Phil. Okay, all right. You got Phil. There we go. There we go. Hello, Phil. How are you? So anyway, all right. Anyway, so I, but I know I, I, I don't. I should have asked her that. I mean, I said, couldn't you like do both today and this bill the other one next week? <laughs> you know, 
Uh, and um, but then it's like they go into your mouth, and it's like they're they're mining for gold. <laughs> okay. So first, uh, well, Alex, you have two cavities over here. Oh, uh, okay. One looks like we can get to it, they're okay. The other one is very close to a nerve. We may have to do a root canal. Okay, more money. All right. Now, it says, oh, also you have a big filling over here that's starting to kind of crack. It's kind of opening, so we have to pull it out and put in a new one. So the tooth in integrity is okay, just we need to put in this big motherfucking, you know, filling. So now I'm thinking, I'm starting to add this all up. This is, you know. This is, <laughs> now you know why this dentist is cheaper. <laughs> no, no, this dentist isn't cheaper. I'm, uh, this dentist is very good, actually, better than the one I had. I mean, the one I had is the reason I got these cavities, you know, and I got this, this bad tooth back here. Yeah, you, you got, the, got the cavities because, because, because you don't brush your teeth. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it, no, we could have gotten this stuff earlier if somebody had been paying attention to Ah, uh, come on, the stuffed derma from your bar mitzvah is still in the back of your tooth. <laughs> yeah, somewhere there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have stuffed derma. Do you have a dry mouth? Uh, not particularly, no. Because that, that's a big thing, too, with cavities, especially you get older. A lot of times you get older, your mouth starts getting more dry. Yeah. And then the saliva isn't there to dissolve the sugars. Yeah, but anyway, so 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 now I've got then and then she found one other. She said there's a little small cavity back there, so we have to fill that. So I have four cavities that have to be filled now. You know, so it's going to wind up costing me fifteen hundred bucks out of my pocket. You know, somewhere around there, I would imagine is my copay. My copay today was also one hundred and forty dollars for the cleaning. I thought that insurance companies paid for the whole cleaning. But Mr. Bennett, what kind of car you drive? I sell you auto uh, coverage. Yeah, I, I get your car free every full, time. I get a full cleaning, and and you know if it's got to go deep, they go deep, 175, and they do the whole mouth. Yeah, yeah I, I get a, and they give me a toothbrush when I'm done. No, but well, this was uh, this this was uh, 140. Uh, but but that's all, the copay. No, I, I, you know that was the copay. Yeah, but I don't know how much. I thought, see, I thought that the, the insurance companies paid for checkup, x-rays, and cleaning. That's what mine does. Yeah. Yeah. But mine doesn't. And, and, and fillings. And call, he, call, and, your, call your insurance company to, uh, on Monday and see if you can give them the bill and they'll reimburse you. What do you mean? I don't need to give them the bill. They're, they sent, they're, they're, they're collecting their part of it from the insurance company. They were, they're, yeah, they're I would double check. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Yes, they are. You know, 140 bucks. I was told, Phil, listen to me. You weren't there. You don't know what you're talking about. I was told by my dentist this was the co-pay. <laughs> okay, well, fuck you, but I would check it out. All I'm saying is fuck you. This was the co-pay. I was told it was the co-pay. I wasn't told. And you told. believe him? I, I asked him. I said, do you then bill the, uh, the insurance company? He said, yeah, and the insurance company send, sends us... Uh, but you know the other the other part of it. But the other I, part. I know I know you live in New York and I live north of Detroit. But a cleaning for me around here is eighty dollars. Yeah, well I live 100% in hundred percent covered I, I, by I, insurance. I, I live in New York and it's much more expensive here, much more. What, yeah. what was the cleaning? Uh, how much do they charge? I, I have no idea. Well, all right. You know, but all I'm saying is. That I, I paid him 140. It was 70 dollars for each visit to do each half of the mouth. So I gave him 140 yeah. today, got it out of the way, you know. But anyway, so uh, it looks like I'm not going to get my implant till the first of next year because that's when my uh, my insurance replenishes. And meanwhile, what I'll do with the rest of it uh, is I'll have like maybe get a crown, a couple of crowns, a crown replaced or something like that, you know. So I get my Will they replace work. them if they're not uh, falling off or cracked? I have a couple that are falling apart. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, why, why, why would I want to replace a crown that was already good? I don't know. Why would you want to pay $140 when uh, you're not sure even what they charged you? <laughs> I'm sure that it's probably another 140 It's probably 50% or something like that that I'm paying. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. so. Yeah. Well... I just got uh, a PPO for the dental and the vision. It starts on August 1st. 
Yeah. And uh, so I'm not using uh, uh, Kaiser's dental and vision. Yeah, well, so, what, what dental insurance are you using? Um, I think it's United uh, Healthcare. Oh, good luck with that one. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's the one he's getting charged $140 no, for no, a no, cleaning. No, I've got, <laughs> no, I've, no, I've, I've, got, I've got Delta Dental. Who, well, no, 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 no. That's right. It's Delta Dental. <laughs> the, the PPO, mm-hmm. after I get rid of Kaiser, is for the, and how for much the of, Part how, F. How much is a maximum be, of a year for payout on their part do you have? 2500 Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah. So how much are you paying for that? Uh, $52 a month for just for me. So $52 a month is uh, about 600 bucks a year. Yeah. yeah. For dental? Well, you dental know, it, it's good that you got the 2500 oh. because I used to have the 1500 and, you know, you eat through that without even thinking. There, there was two to choose from, a high and a low. So I, said, I think oh, for the two, I pay $15 a month. You took a what? The high or the low? Yeah, no. I took the high. So the low would be $1,500. Probably, yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, I'm sure I'll use it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, you know, I'm going to, I want to get the uh, the implant done. And the implant, the thing I like about Delta Dental is they tell my dentist what they have to charge for stuff. And the yeah. implant, they told them 3200 That's all you can charge for it. And they pay 50%. So I pay $1,600. Okay. Yeah, well, I was paying 20 bucks a month through Kaiser and nobody took it. <laughs> you know, uh, I I went there. I wanted some special uh, shooting glasses, so I had them give me a uh, an examination, uh, and I said, "Oh, okay. Well, I get two hundred and fifty bucks every two years uh, for Kaiser for towards glasses." So I said, "Well, before I get rid of these guys in in January, I'm gonna." go out and get myself a, another pair of glasses. I wanted glasses where the reading part was on the top and the distance part was on the bottom. Wait a minute. Is, and, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Why? Dan, Dan, are you still there? I don't think so. No. No, he hung up because his audio was screwed up. Oh, boy. Okay. Gee, I, uh, I wish you people would uh, let uh, me know when you're going. Oh, yeah. He did. No, he didn't. He didn't uh, tell he me. He said he was going to fix it. That's when he turned his phone well, uh, that's when he, yeah, he was going to fix it, but he didn't say he was leaving, you know. Uh, I guess uh, he didn't so want to do it well. We got Charlie yeah. Wallace in here to replace yeah. him in that spot. Yeah. Hello, Charlie. How are you this evening? Hi. Uh, well, uh, I guess I'm okay. My computer crashed when I tried to call when you turned the phones on. Really? Huh. That happened. Yeah, it that took happens. this long to reboot. You know. What else is on your T-shirt besides World of Coca-Cola? That's is it. There- Oh, Atlanta, That's oh, Atlanta. Atlanta oh. Georgia. That's where oh. I went to see the world of Coca-Cola. Wow. Yeah. Were the Coca-Cola police there? Yep. <laughs> they were looking for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking for Alex. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Delta Dental covers little but is common employer insurance in California. No, it covers actually the twenty five hundred dollars i mean when i was at sirius i had delta dental and it only covered fifteen hundred dollars this covers at least uh uh twenty five hundred dollars which means that you can get some decent stuff done you know yeah. so is there a dental plan that's like a part d type of thing when you have medic medicare no, no there's no dental so. there's no dental no. oh yeah i know mine is uh, i think it's cigna and actually, you know, I think it's pretty good. It, it only covers like $1,200 a year, but I don't use more than that. And so all my cleanings are covered. And if I have a cavity, it's covered. And Well, get to my age and you'll need it. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, you know, I was told to get this thing called Part F. Uh, and uh, uh, I instead know, of... but you didn't know it was just telling somebody to fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard Part F. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They showed me all the different uh, uh, plans to choose from. It's for the, you know, the Medicare, and Part F. I, I don't know. You can look it up. Was it a call that you received to your cell phone from a number that looked just like no, yours? No, no. <laughs> I, I have. Uh, it, it's through United Healthcare, uh, which is the just uh, as one, bad. It's the AARP <laughs> one, but I'm not, I'm getting it through my uh, my co-op. Uh, and it's the same price, yeah, and he says I, it's the same that's thing. That's what as the I AARP. had at one point was the AARP, mm-hmm. you know, the United AARP. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, you, you it's, it's you got to have it. You know. Yeah. For me, it was a hundred. Uh, it's going to be hundred and fifty-two bucks. You know what the problem is? I live in New York City. Do you know what it is here? It's probably higher. It's like two hundred, two hundred and fifty dollars. 
Yeah, yeah. And I and I said, why? I, when I was in California, it was only about. They said, oh, you're living in New York now. Oh, really? Yeah, Democrats <laughs> like taxes there and, and high high cost of things. California's Democrat. Come on. What? Yeah. But it's you know California we're high too. Democrat, still if, cheaper if, there. if it was Florida, it'd be like ninety. <laughs> you, know? you know, all of a sudden Phil is involving himself in blatant socialism here. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Value well, papers. What with I his Medicare and his Medicare supplemental and all of that, you know? Yeah, well, you gotta have it. Huh? You yeah. gotta have it. Y yeah. You know. Uh, you know, you you pay for it. You might as well use it. Yeah. 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 Well, no, you, you, yes, you do pay for it. You may as well use it, but you gotta, you got, you also have to be able to do the hello, uh, Jeff. How are you this evening? Yeah. Um, you have to be able to um, uh, pay the the uh, cope. You know the what do you call it? The uh, supplemental, uh, and yeah. that's the problem. You know that's why I think Medicare should be a hundred percent, and uh, you shouldn't have to pay. You know anything because you're paying for it anyway. To begin with, you pay for it uh, in your, you know, your paycheck every every time you get paid. But you also, when you finally are able to get Medicare, it's taken out of your Social Security. I can't remember how much about a hundred dollars or something like that. No, not forty dollars. Uh, really? Is it that much? That much? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I get a bill every two months, and I have to. I pay two months at a time. Yeah, two so you're not taking Social Security yet. They take no. it right out of my Social Security. Uh, so oh, so you have you collected it for two months yet? Well, because he's not uh, he's not getting Social Security yet. Right. Then, he's then ready he, to get the maximum then, then amount. He'll, he'll be a complete communist. But anyway, I went to the dentist, <laughs> and the woman did uh, 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 clean my teeth and did deep scaling on it. And oh my God, that sucks. Is that where they go like below the gum line this and the scrape? They, this is the one where they go down to your penis. I mean, they just you know, they, <laughs> yeah. I've seen I, ones where they actually cut your gums open. And, no, that's, uh, that, that's not uh, that's not uh, that, clean. Is that periodontal, that's periodontal root? Yeah. 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 I had to have, it looks I had like they like put tinfoil on them. I didn't have that. Everybody over the years wanted me to have periodontia. Every damn it. Oh, you got to get periodontia. You need it. You, you know, I, I, hey, I, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I never lost my teeth. Everything's fine. Fuck you. You know, but no, you got to have periodontia. You know, <clears> wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm trying to. Bring, there we go. They get more for that. Patrick Blazik. Why can't I get Patrick in here? Patrick, for some reason, is not. Is he on? Because I don't see him on my screen. Fucking no, handicap. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to bring him on. There we go. It finally. It finally went. Uh, uh, fucking Skype. Last night, uh, I made my connection in Phoenix. I had four minutes until they closed the door. Uh, the uh, the first plane out of Denver, they kept delaying and delaying and delaying. And uh, then I get an email. Uh, and I was nice, relaxed, uh, sitting in the uh, airport lounge. Mm -hmm. And I get this email that says, you may not be able to make your connection. We recommend you rebook the trip. And so they gave me a bunch of choices. Mm -hmm. I, I would have had to go to Dallas, Fort Worth. And I, I would and 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 then and if I missed the next one, it would have been five in the morning that uh, I could have got the next flight. Hold on a second. So. Let me let me put Bree in here. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to remember what his name is that he uses. Uh, no, it's not up there. Oh, boy. Here we go. Bree, what's your Skype name? Try it again. Uh, Bree PGH, I think. Oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna cancel now. Uh, Bree. Alex, up. did you hear that? Uh, yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Phil, I, uh, coming out of yeah. Dubai, I uh, was at the check-in counter for two hours. Oh. I'd gotten there two and a half hours early for the flight, so I had only had a half an hour to make the flight. Oh. Yeah, and, I, and I'm, I, I'm sure that that airport is probably one of the most modern in the world. You know? It was. We had a bunch of issues with uh, visas on old passports versus new ones and whether they were tied in and all that. I'm, I'm flying Tuesday on American, and I just had a friend online who had a American flight canceled, so I don't know. Uh, well, yes, I was on American, and uh, that, that, that one was delayed. Uh, and it, luckily, 
I got into the same terminal, and I was only about seven or eight, uh, what do they call those, uh, jetways away from where I had to be. But it was so late, four minutes. And if I wasn't in the front of the plane, I was like the first person off. And, uh, uh, you know, I got off, I ran over there, and four minutes they were going to close the door and well, give away I, my seat. I hear the grinding halt alarm going on on this show. Uh, let's see here. Uh, not the most interesting story in the world. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, we, we, the challenger. We, we've all come close to missing yeah. airplanes at one time or another in our lives. Yeah. You got any missing stories? No. That's no. your job, to tell the stories. No. Right. Yeah. Well, my original flight to Chicago got canceled. I ended up yeah. having to go the next day. American? I was in the airport for six hours. Well, you got American you, Airlines? You know, no, that was Southwest. No, it was bad weather in Chicago is why they canceled. You don't remember the time when uh, in this country where where flights were just terrible. You got to the airport, terrible. you never knew whether it was going to take over or not. No. You know? Really? Yeah. I, I thought it was better before. No. Oh, oh no. This was. Oh, you mean ago. the overbooking? Yeah. yeah. This is the one where. Uh, I was going to Cal. I was going to New York, and it was during this whole time when they were ha doing this. And what they were doing, what the airlines were doing, was they they were losing money, so they just were deciding that they would slow down the amount of time planes that were taking off. So they were, your plane wouldn't take off on time until they felt it was filled enough and things like that. I mean, it was wow. really horrible. And we were sitting there wondering about it taking off. And finally, we st I st we started protesting, and uh, I went up with, with this one other person, this woman, and we were um, uh, protesting the whole thing and saying we want to talk to management. That you know we've been sta sitting here for three hours waiting for our plane to take off. Nobody's telling us anything. Nobody's telling what's what's happening and what's not happening. Uh, we deserve to know. We want to talk to management. And they said to us, you know, if you're we're we're going to have you arrested if you keep this up. What was the name yeah. of that gal? Deborah Winger. <laughs> uh, yeah. It seems as though I didn't know she was Deborah Winger, but the next uh, day I get a call in New York from San Francisco going, are you dating Deborah Winger? <laughs> I didn't know why. I said, well, you're in Herb Cain's column this morning, and supposedly he said you and Deborah were, were fighting with the uh, people at the airport about the plane not taking off. I said, that was Deborah Winger? <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't even know. Amazing when they don't have makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. The, the gal last night that was sitting next to me uh, also uh, had run all the way across the airport and was late. Uh, she had just gotten back from Ibiza. She was in uh, coming from Barcelona. and uh, Well, you should she have had told a, me. I could have talked to her about Ibiza. Yeah, well, she, I, she, I did, and she told I told her that you really liked Ibiza. Well, the plane was going to take off. I didn't have the the Wi-Fi set up yet, and uh, you know, and I didn't want to. But anyway, she said that uh, in Ibiza, uh, and this is not her first time there. Uh, she said that they have stores that make, you know, like hippie stores to, you know, sell you the shirts and so forth. So it was like the way it was originally, what, the way you were, the way you were talking about Ibiza. And she says it's not that way anymore. It's all tourists and 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 little shops that play off of the uh, uh, the, the the old vibe. Um, I I you know I love Ibiza. I love I love the island. Yeah. But I would never go back. You yeah, know, yeah. there are places I can't go back because they would disappoint me greatly. Uh, yeah. And, Ibiza is and also, one you're not allowed. What do you mean? <laughs> they don't want you back. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, you know, I mean, I love that island. I mean, I, I, mm -hmm. I had certain places I would go that were just positively spiritual and just hang out by myself. But probably I can't do, couldn't do that anymore. You know, yeah. uh, because uh, this beach I used to go to at Calta Ort was uh, hardly anybody there. And every year we went back, there were more people there every year, but not enough that it was a. Cr now it's probably just jammed. You can't even get there. You know, is there some place I can't remember exactly what you said, like Florida, something or other, Florida. 
Del Moro or uh, I can't remember the name. She said it was it sounded nice, uh, but it was near there. Uh, Cal- she was there also. Cal de Hort, and where I mean, it's a, it's only a twenty eight mile long island. It's yeah. about six miles wide, so I I don't know what she was talking yeah. about. Nah. And you know, and she was uh, you know, in Barcelona. She said Barcelona's court it's just gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, yeah. But um, yeah, when she said that she had just gotten back from Ibiza, uh, I said, ah, gee, you know, that's Alex's favorite place. And then she was telling yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Not anymore. I mean, I just I wouldn't. I'm sad. It's sad that I can't go back there because. Uh, I would but go- you're right. Uh, what she said is that it's turned into a tourist trap. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, used to have this hill. I would climb up this hill, big, big climb, and at the very top was this Moore's Sentry Tower that had been there since the 14th century, and I, w- I knew a woman who lived in it, literally mm. lived in it. And so I used to hang out there, and you know, and every time I go back, I go and f- go up there occasionally because it was just a, it looks down on the Vedra, which is this rock outcropping in the water that is. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, those pictures you sent me of those two gals that you took, uh, I, you know, I couldn't. Uh, there was a lot of uh, grain if you expanded it too much. Uh, were those taken in Ibiza? Which ones? Uh, one was a, a gal, kind of a hippie gal, sitting on the side of a, um, uh, I think, on a, uh, a wall, and the other one was in yeah, sort yeah. of an alley. Yeah, that was uh, those were Ibiza. A brunette. Those pictures were Ibiza, and the Ibiza. grains on purpose, Phil. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, really? Well, I was going to print it for you and you know blow it up a little well, bit. Well, the grain, is, uh, the grain is on purpose. Oh, okay. So I, I then... brought the grain out in it in order to give it that texture. Okay. Well, it then... wasn't that gal. That was Alex back when he had long hair. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was beautiful too. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, the brunette. Well, the best really picture pretty. I have is the picture of uh, the uh, Sufi dancer sitting on the rock. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, you, you like that one better with, than uh, with, the brunette? With Vedra in the background. Yeah. Yeah. With Vedra in the background. Uh, and that was really terrific. You know, I got Okay, my, I didn't my, realize you wanted the green. Oh, I'll well, print it for Well, you. The, the, the black and white ones are, yeah. are not uh, uh, grainy. Uh, the c- yeah. color ones are not grainy. But I did have to go back over the years and adjust the color. Uh, yeah. And, uh, let me see here. Right. Where are we? I have to find Hog Rider. Where's Hog Rider? Come on, Hog Rider. Hog Rider. There we go. All right. Hog Rider. Boom. There we go. There's Hog Rider. Okay. Come Kevin, on. how old are you? Huh? Wait a minute. That's uh, not what I wanted. Oh, uh, you know something? I just screwed something up. Uh, you know, Kevin's hair is, is jet, jet black on mm-hmm. the top. And, uh... Really? Okay, <laughs> Hold on a second. I've got it. Who, who, who do I not have in here? Jealous. Yes. Who, who do I not have in here? Oh, I, I just put, I, I, I just have to put, to put a I little to, bit of pepper in mine. I have to put. I got a little spot of gray right here that I've had yeah. for years. It's right, right there. Yeah. Okay. People pay for that shit. Yeah, well, yeah. Five. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I, I just, uh, I can only go like three days now without <laughs> shaving, or else yeah. I itch. It's too bad. And I realize now when I go three days, all of my sides are gray just from last year. Like I just had gray like here, but now my whole entire sides are now gray. Oh. Like, man, one year. We have the two J's here. We have Josh and we have uh, Jason. Jason. What my, my mind is going. I'm, you know. Uh, so I, I had a question because I saw this tonight on uh, Vice News. I thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. You see that Trump is now selling plastic straws. I think that might be a mime. Uh, you know, no, it it's might not. Be. It's not. Really? Because they were making fun of it on Vice News to a point because they were saying how, you know, he he's saying on it it says liberal paper straws don't work, so he's selling plastic straws. But then they also said that these plastic straws are reusable, recyclable, and BPH free. It's like those are some liberal ideas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they made fun of it at the press conference before he got onto the helicopter to go to Mar Largo today. Oh, Didn't really? his they new helicopter his new helicopter damaged the lawn today? Uh, I think it burned the the lawn. Oh, I thought it just weighed too much when he was in it. <laughs> There's some ruts in the grass. It was that extra bucket of chicken. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, oh. But anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, I I can't go back to Ibiza because it's just it's just not you know it's just touristy you know uh, and uh, and crowded and I could go there maybe during the winter which is kind of like it's spring all year long there. Uh, and it's maybe, never been the same since the guy told the BG it was cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then, then um, let me see here. The other place I can't go is San Francisco, which I hear now is just one big garbage heap. Yeah. You know. Uh, uh, and, in fact, it's interesting that that, that uh, uh, Bubbles lot yesterday said that he was in Chicago, uh, right, this week, and it was cleaner than San Francisco. Yeah. yeah, I was shocked at how clean Chicago was. It wasn't clean like that when I lived there. I'm sorry, Chicago's not a bad town downtown. It, it, ask Jesse Smollett if it's okay there. Uh, <laughs> well, it's Detroit's fine. not it's, a bad town it's, downtown it's, neither. It's but. Even but it was even clean in the neighborhood. I mean, it was. Uh, so there must have been some big cleanup thing that they did. Huh. Well, they probably figured, you know, that's one step towards maybe trying to curb the crime. You know, I send them over to Detroit to see what whatever they did in Chicago. Then, well, yeah, they, they paint those body outlines on the sidewalk, <laughs> and you know, if you paint enough body outlines, it's all going to get painted. Too bad Keith <laughs> Herring isn't alive; he could do them yeah. for them, and they'd all be art pieces. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, so I'm trying to stay awake tonight because of the uh, the pill i took last night i couldn't go to sleep you oh know? hey alex sorry i got another question yes. you're talking about uh you you take a hit off of a vape pen that night yeah is it look like like two batteries with a straw sticking out the side wait a minute two, no oh wait a minute uh, well it's um how, how do i describe it is it a jewel like or, almost uh, look like this with you know no just, it's uh, uh kind of oval Oh. Uh, in shape, and you put the the uh, cartridge in one end of it. So it is a cartridge. Does the cartridge have the element inside of the cartridge that you buy? Y yes, obviously, okay. because uh, uh, I I can't tell what how that a cartridge works. And what is what is your setting set at? No, we don't have a setting on it. It's not a setting on there because no. I I know like my wife has one and you know she uses it for anxiety and stuff and uh, it, it was. We well, had it set you, people, really high. Keep talking. Alex it's, has his set, set to stun. Keep talking to each other. I'll go get it. Hold on a second. <laughs> right. Just, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tony's so, calling, so let me just put. We had Tony to turn our in, power in down because it was burning. It'd burn your throat if you took a hit off it. Like it was like peppery, not hot. Yeah, yeah. Mine, mine kind of has that problem here. And then here. originally, when you were saying you were taking three hits, I'm like, holy shit, that's a lot. You just need to take one hit if you're just trying to go to bed. Okay, <laughs> let me see here. Uh, uh, what, I was just in Denver. I is, didn't see is anybody nine, is smoking. Is nine hot. people a full house? No, you got one more no, to go. Ten. Ten. Okay, then I got to take the full house part out. There we go. All right. Need one I, more. There we go. Okay, talk to each other. I'll be back in a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, pulling a Tony. <laughs> yeah. yeah, how's Bob doing, Tony? Any any war stories from today? Actually, uh, the other night we had a gas leak from Con Ed in the street. My house was okay. We had the firemen going out till 4 in the morning. It's two houses over, and then all the way down the block to the post office, they had it. They can't go into the basement. They had to evacuate almost a quarter of the block. Was that so a now meth lab? It's still out, so you know what they're doing? They meth got lab. an air pump, and they actually feel they got an air pump going into the basements of the houses, and they're sucking the air out and wow. pumping clean air in. Because the carbon monoxide no was so hot. How hot it is you think there. that that's what they're we doing. Have a, but it's oh, really back to those spaceships that come down and, 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 and door. It's great. And they suck out your brain. I, I saw the, the uh, video. Tony, you got a lot of Italians in, in your neighborhood, huh? Yeah, that's a lot of Italians. It's, it's like, it's, 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 yeah, I heard them all talking. The it sounded like they were ordering pizza down there. What? Well, actually, one of the guys owns a pizzeria a couple blocks down. Anyway, here is what it is it's called Moxie. Yeah, I think I heard that. Can you hold it up to the other camera? What, what? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, because you guys, uh, that I was holding up to the camera, yeah. the audience sees. What right? does it look like the other, sh the other side? The other side is just blank. 
It's, uh, and I'll show the audience now. There it is. So it basically looks like a black penis. Yeah, it kind of does. And what <laughs> happens is, you see this Dark part. with no legs. This, looks this like a here, Farm Milano this, cookie. This, is this part here <laughs> comes out. That's the cartridge with the, with the drugs in it. But it doesn't have anything that shows you, you know, if I show people this here. No and, adjustment. And now if I show you guys over here, because there's another camera huh. they see you through. Oh, yeah, I see some. You see? But, but, but there's Is nothing that in there that says, like, uh, you know, that changes color or anything to tell you when it's, when it's new. Yeah, no, see, ours has actually a power level adjustment on it, you know, probably how hot it burns or something. And if it's set too high, it wasn't like hot as in temperature. It was like peppery yeah. and it'd like burn your throat. I had to turn it down so you could just get a smooth get, hit. People are getting these things and the batteries are exploding. And, uh, you know, have you heard? You Thank know, you. Uh, Bye again. No, no, the, the, you know, uh, people have been buying these things, and the batteries have exploded. Yeah, and all this crap's made in China and overseas and stuff where they don't regulate, and it's also, you know, they know what it's used for, so they're not regulating it and yeah, doing well, the precautions. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm glad you're paying the tariffs, you know. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, we we got the, we got this as a, we got we got this as a, as a gift. That's an you know, right. Yeah, I'm not, we're not supposed to have this in New York. You know, can't have anything in New York. It's against the law. Yeah, you know, because we I mean, they should legal. Shipped out a friend of, of mine lived in New York, uh, and there was a home invasion in his house, yeah. and he used his bodyguard's gun to thwart the invasion, and he yeah. spent three years in prison. And he just got out. Oh yeah, what I don't like about this uh, mm -hmm. is that all of them are flavored, and really? I don't like it. I don't like the flavor. Just give me, and it doesn't really have the you know the marijuana taste you know that you're used to. You know, if I want to, do are you allowed to uh, light up a actual joint in your apartment uh, house? Like in, in where I live, you're not allowed to uh, smoke a cigarette or uh, or or anything. Where, where, where you oh, live, so what did you say, Phil? Uh, in in uh, Walnut Creek, you're not allowed to smoke inside a multi-unit building. Oh, Are you really? allowed to light an actual marijuana? Not uh, really, no. no. Oh, oh okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a roach, huh? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, what, what, what's that stuff you use to kill roaches? You know, if actually, I would oh, light great. this up and smoke it right <laughs> now, but the only problem is is that I, because I took the you, pills, like that, I'll fall asleep during the show. So, you know, yeah. I don't want to do that. But, uh, but no, this is this is the vape pen. It's, it's, um, okay. yeah, and the other one's old school. Yeah, it's very convenient, but the only problem that I have with it is I don't like the taste, you know? I mean, I, it doesn't... Uh, there's something really nice and sociable about marijuana, you know, and being able to uh, light up a joint pass and pass it around and, you know, the whole the whole ritual of rolling it, you know, and, and doing all of that. And uh, it, it, it's just, this, that's what's missing here, you know, and, and the, the taste isn't there. It doesn't have that same marijuana when you, when you exhale does it put out a big cloud of vapor well here i won't inhale so oh, of course well, that's a bill, clinton. bill clinton didn't either no i won't yeah. i won't inhale so that you can just see it and i won't get high but see that you yeah see it that's out? just a little puff yeah i just uh, i didn't want to do Whole yeah. Thing. Sometimes I'm driving down the street and I see people smoking these things. Maybe it's pot, maybe it's cigarettes, uh, but the vapor is like filling the the car and it, it's coming out like uh, like a, a cirrus cloud. <laughs> you well, know? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Jason. Jason, what do you got there? Show them, and I will uh, put oh, you. Oh, that's full, the I, rectangular. I, thing I will put you full about. screen so people can uh, can see what you're doing here. You're you're muted, Jason. Jason. We need you to talk so I can. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I came in and I was actually talking and I forgot that I was muted. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Th this is what I'm talking about. It kind of looks like, you know, it's just two, you know, AA batteries with your cartridge on this end. And then, you know, you have to hit the button. And then it actually gives you a display of what you're, you know. You're upside down. Sorry, yeah. I don't use it that much. So, you know, and 
I don't know if it's backwards, but it shows the power level, and you can change the power level on now, it. Now, what, what have you it, got there? Is that pot? No, it is. It is a tobacco product. Yeah, sure. <laughs> marijuana at my employment is not legal, so I do not do it. So. Oh, I see. My state says it's legal, but you okay. know, my employer says it's not. So All right. I can't do Hold it. Hold on a second. Uh, Dan just called. Uh, I got to put Dan. Wait a minute. I think you might have a full house. Wait a minute. I, I think so, too. But first, yeah, I'm, gotta, I'm here now. To, uh, okay. Let's see here. He would be number uh, 10. 10. Yep. So uh, uh -huh. let me see That's here. Good. Dan. <laughs> Dan, where are you, Dan? Dan, Dan, uh -huh. Dan. Uh, there, wait a minute, I don't see Dan. I just need to show you this. Too, oh, wait a minute, hold, oh, hold, 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 hold on a second, Dan. Dude. Hold on until I... Yeah, he's got to get you on the, I, I, uh, I the gotta, other system. I got to find you, and it, sometimes you don't come up until after a while. School of Mr. Dan, there he is. Okay. When it gets to be a lot of them, I have a hard time finding the guy. Let me see here. Come on. Oh, I see why. Okay, there we go. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Dan wants to show off his uh, vape. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, okay, Dan. Show I'm us your mic, show us your vape. Go ahead. This is called the eye shred. Huh? <laughs> this is called the eye shred. I shred paper. Really? I shred. Ice friend? I shred like shred like guitar and like iPod or something like that. Okay. I shred. Uh, Little eye and the word shred. Like shredding <laughs> sheets or shredding your guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like your toothbrush. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. so uh, I saw Birdman last night. What was it with Michael? I liked it. Movie yeah, from like 15 it, years ago. Good. I like that movie. I don't know. It was on American movie. Airlines, you know. <laughs> Uh, I saw that. I saw the uh, Dick Cheney thing, Vice, and uh, I started watching uh, okay, Creed 2. Yeah, Creed 2, but it was a piece of shit. Uh, but I, I, I didn't uh, like the, uh, what do you call it? Movie? Birdman? Birdman. Uh, no, no huh? I like Birdman. I didn't like, no, I uh, I didn't like uh, the uh, Vice. Yeah, I didn't finish Vice, the plane guy. I, I thought it was rather mediocre. Yeah. yeah. Well, in the beginning, it was all right. I liked when he started working with Rumsfeld, and uh, you know, and you know, when he was just a bum working the working the wires and the line. Uh, hey, you know, what? climbing. A bum working the wires and the lines. What? I know. One of your heroes, Phil. Yeah. Oh, Dick Cheney. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, he's he's, he's one of your heroes, right? Yeah. And, and, you know, they made it out that Lynn Cheney, his wife, was really the, uh, you know, the guiding force behind him not being a piece of shit. But, Didn't she know. play Dracula? That <laughs> thing? Uh, was she there when she when he shot the other dude in the face? I didn't see that part. <laughs> <laughs> the plane landed. But uh, I liked Birdman. Birdman was good. I, I didn't realize that it was that good. That was that Alcatraz movie or whatever, wasn't no, it? No, no, that, that that was a different one. This, this was the Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. And uh, what's what's her name? Lindsay and Lohan played his daughter. And uh, I thought she was good. Played. Lindsay Lohan? Was it Lohan? Is that who that was? No. Was, it? was no. that? I don't remember who it was, but it was must have Lindsay That's Lohan. Lindsay Lohan? Boy, you, Lindsay Lohan, are you out of your fucking mind? She can't get oh, she can't, oh, Who was it that played the daughter? She can't, I, I could have sworn that. After, I, I got to look it up now. Hold on a second. I'll yeah. look it up right now. Hold on. I know Ed Norton was in it. He should do more movies. Yeah, I, he was great. He's phenomenal, that guy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. They all were. It was, it was very Vice, well done. Uh, oh, great. Why, why am I getting a hamburger ad? <laughs> Because she didn't pay to not have ads. Huh? Yeah. What, what, what is this? Where did this come from? Hamburger! Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Was, uh, um, was she Emma in it? Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, she was in Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, well, I think uh, she uh, playing his daughter? Yeah. That was Allison yeah, Pill. Yeah, Stone. Who? Uh, uh, Allison Pill? Really? Oh. Yeah, that was Allison Phil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, she was damn good, <laughs> and I, I thought she was cute. Well, that's why. I, that's why you should have known it wasn't Lindsay Lohan. 
Yeah, was, I thought that's who it was. I, you know, uh, what movie did she just do that they were concerned that she was going to fuck it up, but she did a good job? Nothing mm-hmm. that I know of. Nothing? No. Okay. I don't know. Huh. Phil, the most anyway. misinformed man in America. Well, <laughs> hey, I didn't see the playing. credits. And if I did see the credits, I wouldn't have known who they were anyway. Yeah. What do you expect? He watches Fox News all the time. I know who they I, are. I have no idea who celebrities are. I don't pay attention to who they are. I don't know their name. You could say, oh, it was so-and-so from what movie? And I'm like, okay, well, what character did they play? Because I don't really give a fuck who a celebrity is. The reason I knew it was, uh, was it Michael Keaton is because Tony just said so. <laughs> <laughs> Remember well, I remember Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton from Batman when he was big in the yeah. 80s. Yeah. I always liked Michael Keaton. I always thought he was good. So is that what the reference was mm-hmm. uh, that, uh, to Birdman, the, the Batman reference? That I he think was that was subsequently veiled because it was talking about the Birdman movies. And I think it was like a thinly veiled reference well, to that. No, it's that not, it's not, it wasn't heard. meant to be thinly veiled, okay? Yeah. It was meant... Uh, it was meant to be a parody on someone who played somebody like Batman, in this case, Birdman, and how yeah. his yeah. life had been kind of toned by that. Okay. Yeah. Right. And uh, it's, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, there's nothing thinly veiled about it. You know, they got yeah. the right guy to play the part because he, that's, yeah. that's his life story in a strange way. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's, but it's anyway, like anyway, I liked it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a very done. good movie. Michael King did a very good job. Is that one of the ones you voted for, Alex? No. Uh, when you got the no, the, no, he's a Pittsburgh boy. Who? Michael King. Is he oh. really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've met him. Yeah, yeah, because he's a Pittsburgh boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You in Pittsburgh <laughs> yeah, most, right now? Yeah, he's in Pittsburgh. Most Pittsburgh celebrities. Yeah. At some point or another, I've met them. Yeah. So when when are you going to be in uh, Kuala Lumpur? When does that happen? Tuesday. Tuesday. Boy, you're yeah. just the international guy, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> huh? Jet lag, yeah. big time. Yeah. 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 Probably a good time to be getting out of where you're at. <laughs> you know, when I go west it's not as bad as for me as going east if i go to europe it takes me three days to get over the jet lag uh if i go to hawaii there's no jet lag yeah. but um, what is the time difference yeah well it's a time hours, difference the other like, way too the same yeah but it's like seven hours eight hours the other way yeah, yeah i say it's seven hours for me for here and you're three hours that's like 10 well, hours well, even from new york to europe i get jet lag and for me traveling between uh um, you know, 125th no, Street. Between, no, between between <laughs> San Francisco <laughs> to the bathroom. No, uh, yeah, from my bedroom to the bathroom. Uh, between uh, um, between um, San Francisco and uh, between New York and California, is that the time difference gets to me because you know here, like when it's you know th- three o'clock uh, in California, it's 1967. <laughs> so, it's true. Anyway, um, so uh, let's see here. Um, uh, what I what I found absolutely. Oh yes, do you, you have your hand up, Dan? Oh, uh, I was just uh, I, I was just reminded. I wanted to ask Phil about. Um, have you heard about like the person hole covers? You live in Berkeley, right? Oh, it's it's not manhole. Uh, no, I moved from Berkeley. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Walnut Creek, Creek now. Hole covers or, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, they, they can't they, gender neutralize. Like I saw something that they can't call no. it a manhole any any longer. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. So they're, they're maintenance yeah. covers. One, two, three, yeah, the manhole right. covers are now called something else. I don't know. They're why, maintenance why, covers. why were they called manhole covers anyway? Uh, they they're in they cover up uh, either utilities or sewer things that are in the street. And then they would take these big metal covers off so that they, uh, a maintenance person, man, could go down into oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they changed like 200 <sighs> terms who does that? 300 terms. Ed, Ed Norton uh, does that. Oh, remember? Yeah, okay. Yeah, on the honeymoon. Do you know why manhole covers They don't call around? it manpower now. They call it uh, P. 
people engagement or some crap. It's, 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 it, and it can't uh, be a pregnant woman. It's a pregnant employee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the man manhole covers round because then you, no matter what position you put it back in, it's always in the right position. No, actually, it's so it can't fall in. It's the only shape that won't be able to fall in. Yeah. Yeah. Any other That's shape true. you can put at an Square, angle. Rectangle, triangle, yeah, they could all fall yeah. in. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Why? Wait a minute. I this, uh, this makes no sense to me at all. What, what what are you what are you saying? That that a round thing can't fall through. Is a you, round uh, circle that's a little bit bigger on the top can't fall through a round hole. Right. Well, but if, a square if it's could, square, if, a, if it was square, and it was a little bit all bigger, all sides are a, equal. I bit, get it. A little bit bigger yeah. on the top of you the can, lip. You can move it. Do, it could fall in diagonally. Yeah, I, I think the, diagonally. I, I, yeah, to and corner to corner. Corner to I corner. Could get stuck that way, maybe. I don't. I don't think that's the reason. I think the reason is that being round, you could just place it any way you wanted to and just get it back exactly. there quicker. No, that because way. we we have fiber. Uh, it's called the hand hole, and it's not as deep. Those are rectangular shape. But yeah, you know, oh yeah, that's. I, I watch stuff because there was actually on a, a Mr. I thought Science they call that whatever. fisting. Yeah. And and uh, and hand job. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hand hole. <laughs> so what do they call in the covers? The people covers. It's the glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> Only in, in in San Francisco in the Castro district. Well, three even blew up on my block this week. You ever seen a square glory hole? <laughs> <laughs> round round peg in a square hole. Square hole. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. It's a crazy production. So, um, um, uh, you know, I just, I'm, I'm amazed that we have a president who just absolutely, I was saying, we were talking earlier about uh, how he is just a complete phony in every way. His, his tan is fake. His hair is fake. Uh, you know. I, I heard you fake. say that. And now, had you ever thought that the guy's out playing golf 24-7 He's in Florida, and he's wearing sunglasses. Isn't that why you get the uh, uh, raccoon eyes? No, those raccoon eyes are from those little things. Yeah, that's from a tanning booth, no that's, doubt. That's from a tanning hey, hey, booth. Phil, it, it's pigment. It's pigment. Yeah. Am I orange? I work outside. Am I orange? Yes, yes, you are. I'm but orange. you're Mexican uh, orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, it's... it's it, it, but anyway... Um, um, what amazed me is that this guy is is just he lies without any guilt whatsoever in spite of the fact that people go let's go to the videotape oh the you know? kick her out kick her out yeah. kick her out yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's right go. no send her back send her back, send send her back. Her back. let's go to the videotape uh, i immediately started started talking i didn't let them sh keep shouting well he waited until they stopped and uh, that's right seconds. and he also at one point he, he gave nodded him, a couple he, times. he gave him a nod like and yeah. he did the exact well, same yeah. thing with the locker well, we, we, also, we also talked about it last night and he backtracked again today he just totally shit on everything we said last night and, and we figured he was going to do that and he he what, well, what did he what, 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 he, what did he, 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 he endorsed him and said look at those patriots that's exactly oh, what really? i said oh, was gonna happen. i didn't hear that yeah part. yeah that's what i said too he, he just oh. he endorsed the patriots that said that now yeah i thought they were saying that he sort of made a not an apology but he kind of yeah he back did but you were on the plane Milani. when he was he does, he when you were on the plane he was endorsing all the patriots that said that Oh, that's because some people said he threw them under the bus. Yeah, he did for a minute. The first yeah. time, yeah. He, try, he tried, but he couldn't get away with it because the proof's yeah. right there in front of us, and he didn't. The proof doesn't yeah, so mean anything, So he said all those Dan. people that, that he could have sold out that place <laughs> ten times over, and all those people yeah. that were there, uh, you know, were just a bunch of good patriots. So, How many you know, people do you think are actually there? How many people do you think are there? Thirty or forty thousand in some venues. I didn't ask that question, Phil. You let me finish <laughs> asking the fucking oh. question. <laughs> I saw thirty or forty on the screen. I half of them are actually 30, supporters. 40, that's the it. other half are just spectators. No, the almost as many as watch Gabnet. 
The question is, the question is, um, uh, how many people do you think were there just for the laughs? You know, laughs? weren't there because 50%. of any political agenda or anything like that? They wanted just to go the see, CNN news guys. They wanted to go see this moron do his comedy act. <laughs> that's well, we know good. one got kicked out, so that's okay. one. Yeah, it was just the guys from CNN. Did yeah, they let I'm in MSNBC in there? Not last, uh, I'm fading fast, so <laughs> I will hopefully catch you on uh, next week. Oh, oh ended a full house. Okay, well, uh, we, you we, you ended a full house. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice night, Bree. Let's right. call and replace you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I got to do some adjustments here. Who do I move up? Okay, I'll move uh, Dan up into that oh, slot. Oh, we're back to the Brady Bunch look now. Uh, back mm -hmm. into that slot. Let's see here. Uh, eight. Number eight will go to Mr. Dan. Uh, there we go. Okay. Did that change it? That's right. And then I go up here, and we go here, and I I think we're uh, we're okay now. Let me see here. Who, who we got? You see, people on Gabnet get to hear how the salami is made. Jeff, are you there? Jeff has not been there all night. I thought he was frozen. I didn't know, but oh, I just thought he was asleep. Oh well. <laughs> We'll get rid of we'll get rid of Jeff too. Uh, let's see, one, three, four, five. Uh, we have nine. Uh, huh? Even with uh, on the Skype, there's nine. Well, if I do this, uh, it's not that way anymore. Okay, there we go. We get rid of uh, we get rid of uh, Jeff. I don't know what happened to Jeff. You know. But I'll leave that square in the middle empty in case anybody wants to call and fill it. You're still there, right, Pat? Trick? Yeah. Oh, okay. He, yeah. I'm flat. He, I was flat. afraid yeah. until you moved. Uh, um, yeah, we, we need to have mirrors under our noses so <laughs> that you can see that we can fog them. <laughs> Supposedly, uh, 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 according to sources, uh, members of the Republican Party got together and talked to Trump about what happened at that rally and urged him to pull back on it because they said it just wasn't doing them any good. Uh, you know, I thought I it was can, his wife and uh, his daughter. That, well, that then urged supposedly him. his daughter urged him to. Uh, uh, he he asked him before he got on the helicopter 100%. and he said that was fake news. Yeah. <laughs> Everything, anything that doesn't fit his 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 uh, uh, specifications is fake news. Yeah, exactly. Well, he knows. I mean, you know, right, yeah, I mean, it doesn't agree with him. Fake news. Sure, that's how. Fake news. Yeah, is the is the just, is the the method that Hitler used to discredit. Yeah, he, just, he just cuts them off and says that's fake Lugan news. That's fake news. Move on. Yeah. Yeah. Lugenpresse. That was in uh, Nazi Germany. What's it called? Lugenpresse. Yeah. Lang Isn't that those shorts with the suspenders that are made out of leather? <laughs> no, that's the that was the name Lederhosen. that was given to the media because Hitler didn't like the news media. Lugenpress is what he called it. Well, I guess he has to have some redeeming qualities. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, Even Hitler. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it, yes. uh, <laughs> I, I think, you know, the, the Republicans have a real conundrum here as to how they parse this whole thing. You know, they don't want to throw their candidate to the wolves. On the other hand, they don't want to have to go back to their constituency and face them having looked like they were being too acquiescent to him. In a week, this will be all blown over. Uh, what do you mean, if, a week, it'll all be blown over? If it's around here or around the Rust Belt, it won't matter because yeah. they're it's fine it. with it. Any of these things, uh, you know, he's said but some pretty horrendous things over the last couple there's of years. Plenty, there's plenty of Americans here away. who are only first, second, well, third generation in this country. And I don't think it's going to disappear for them. You know how many times I was told to go back to where you came from? You know, when I was growing up, it, it was ridiculous. Was that West Bloomfield Hills? No, I grew up in Diamonddale, and I was in Diamonddale when I was told to go back to where I came from. I'm like, I okay, over there? 
<laughs> you know, and then when I realized it and understood it, I said, all right, I tell you what, I'll walk back to where I came from as soon as you walk back to where you came from. Because yeah. my people could walk here. Yeah. Yours couldn't. Well, Jeff, Jeff's been quiet tonight because he hasn't been on, but he came back. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, oh, I was. I thought I was, house? but I wasn't. <laughs> you thought you were on? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were on, too. You got a full house again. No, we haven't got a full house again. Uh, not Jeff, not. one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not a full yeah. house yet. We need one yeah, more. Yeah, it is. No, it's not a full house. Full house is 10. Yeah, we got 10. I've got you 10. Got 10. Yeah, you got Jeff, Charlie, Tony, Josh, Wait, Patrick, Wait, hold on me, a second. Let me, you, look, let me Dan, look here. Kevin. There's and, a 12. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Jason. Really? Okay. Yeah. I guess we do. I, I didn't realize that. I had, I had the other... Uh, the other you configuration up. There we go. There's a full house, folks. That's what that's what a full house looks like. Hey, hey. Uh, I I think it's you know I I've just gotten to the point where I'm just I'm beside myself in this whole thing, and I think the Democrats have to be careful how they handle this. Uh, you know, they've got to be very careful how they handle it, and I don't think they're being that careful. You know. They're eating their own. Well, no, you not, know what they actually not, should do How right are they now? eating they their shouldn't own? Even, they, they're going they after Biden. Well, they're going sorry, after Josh. Biden, but they're, all That's those crazy. people are against each other because they're all vying for the... For the uh, yeah, I, for, I well, will you listen to me? Uh, uh, they're vying for the, uh, the uh, uh, nomination. Position. Yeah. 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 That's not eating your own. That's healthy competition. Okay? I don't think they were eating Biden up. I think Biden... Uh, was asked Biden to def stumbled. B Biden stumbled. Yeah, but no. What I'm saying, and I'll, then I will go to uh, Jason because he's got his hand up. Is that they've got to be very careful not to beat up on Trump. You know, they can't make him the victim. What they've got to do is they've got to get out there and say, "Here's what I want to do for America," and then say, "What I want to do for America is I want to make it more civil." I want us to get back to a civil discourse. And also, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get you jobs. I'm going to this and that. And talk about how you're going to make people's lives better. And don't sit around the whole time saying we got to get rid of Trump. That's what they're all saying, 24 of them. Well, I don't think Bernie not, not says that. Bernie is, you know, Bernie says stuff about Trump. Yeah. But most of the things that Bernie okay. posts, I follow him on social media, is what he's going to do for the country, what he wants to do. Jason had his hand up. Jason. Jason. I, I guess maybe that was actually kind of part of it. But, you know, I don't think the this whole thing about what was her name that took on uh, Biden? Uh, uh, Harris. Kamala Harris. So, all right. I don't think what she did was anything special. I saw it and I was like, all right, your time's up. Your time's you think up. It was, you think Your it was planned? Up. That that yes, was a planned attack? Planned. But, you know, in, in, and so I don't think it was anything special. It wasn't even big enough to make me remember her name. So, yeah. you know, I think some people think it was, and some people, you know, I don't I, I don't think it was anything. It doesn't put her on my radar whatsoever. It actually kind of turned me off of her a little bit because she just, she was trying to, to, to trying to, I don't know, pull some, I don't know. I, I just, it was it, a practiced planned attack. exactly it was i thought it was way too <laughs> planned out but and, the, and they gave her too much credit for it the the other part of it with trump and his racism the the democrats need to don't even talk about it don't even nothing to do with that they should just be talking about what am i going to do for the middle class what am i going to do for these people who are the union workers who are almost turning away from the democratic party because they're not doing anything for them anymore they're yeah, not the got, ones to sit there yeah. and say we're pro worker. You know, they need to get there and start talking about what are we going to do for you, the middle class? Um, yeah, Patrick? And just to bounce off of what Jason's saying, not that this isn't my best interest and I don't give a shit about the Democrats, but just watching this, AOC and the squad, by constantly um, re bringing this shit up about Trump is doing a great service to the president by diverting the attention from the uh, immigrants down at the border. I haven't heard anything on those immigrants in almost a week. Schumer brought it up today. 
Well, maybe he did, but the last week, all you've heard on all the news cycles, on all the channels are racist, 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 not about illegal immigration, just four women of color. And hey. I, laughed, I was laughing because I thought they screwed up a whole game plan, those yeah, women. They should be talking about what's going on on the border. They should turn that into what is going on. You know, this is yeah. what he's saying to us, I, and this is why he's treating these people that way. Right. I gotta, I gotta correct what you said, Jason. Uh, it's not what the de it's not what the Democrats want to do for the middle class. It's what the Democrats want to do to the middle class. <laughs> oh bullshit! <laughs> yes. Republicans are making it exist. You, you're whole, now. And, and that's the that. whole Republican redistribution of wealth. Oh, they don't want to redistribute uh, it to the rich. Redistribution? That's wanna... the socialist. Uh, no, the, uh, because there has been a redistribution. Exactly. Of wealth going on for the last 30 years, and it's just been going from the poor right. to the rich. And maybe we need to turn around that redistribution and put that from the rich back to the poor. Because well, maybe you should rich, become rich. When the rich get all the money in monopoly, what happens? They win, and nobody else has any money to spend. Oh, by the way, we don't have a full house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got a full one house. One, two. I mean, I, I, I. You got to count yourself. Count the up. Skype. I'm counting. I'm counting. Time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. No. Well, Alex, I got eleven actually. No, well, somebody you frozen somebody that on your thing. See, I mean, yeah. because if I go, then who don't I have here? Is what okay. I'm you got nine. yourself. You got Jeff. You got yeah. Charlie. You got Tony. Uh, I got you got ten. Yeah, yeah, I got ten. I got Josh. I got Patrick. Oh, I know what I, who I don't have here. You gotta count Alex. Is you Kevin? Is Alex. Kevin there? No. Kevin's there. Yeah, Kevin, yeah I'm Kevin. here. Uh, I see. I don't see him on my. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let count. me see here. That would be number uh, ten, right? Uh, which is hog. You know, I'm usually right about these kinds of things. Well, I mean, I just, you know, I have so much to do here in trying to figure out who's well, where, when, and he's how. He's the one person who's right there that's wrong. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Patrick has his hand up, and then Charlie had something he wanted to say. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No. Uh, you guys are wrong. No, no we're, we're not missing wrong. somebody. Then I can't figure out who I'm missing. Okay. I'm looking at Skype, have. I count 10. I'm looking at YouTube, I count 369. Alex, read yeah, who so you have off Skype. on your screen. What? Read who you have on your screen. I have, now I count 10. On my screen, I have Josh. I have 10 on YouTube now. Jason. Four, I eight, have Charlie. Eight. I have Phil. I have Jeff. Oh, well, you have doubled me Kevin, up, Alex. And I've got him, uh, no, uh, and uh, then I've got uh, Patrick, and I, then I've got, uh, uh, who, who t t t get rid of that, and then I've got Dan. Okay, so who am I missing? Oh, I know uh, who I'm Tony. missing. Tony. 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 Here we go. Here we go. See, I mean, uh, this gets very confusing for me, <laughs> you know. Uh, it takes cognitive skills to do this. I know, and I haven't got them anymore. That's your hand's so. going to fall off. That's because you don't have yeah. all your okay. teeth. Yeah. There we go. No. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I already had him there. I already had him on. You didn't mention him. Dan. Okay. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count. I'm going to tell you the people you count them, all right? All right. You got Jeff. Mm -hmm. You got Charlie. You got Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Josh, I think Patrick's Josh, hand is Patrick, Patrick, wait, wait, wait a minute, Josh, wait a minute, Josh and Patrick. Dan, yeah. Actually, yeah, who else? Hold on. Is Charlie still on? Because I don't. Who have else? Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Who else? Oh, oh you're not on my screen. You want no me more. to do it again? Use your fingers. You got ten. <laughs> 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 you don't have thirty-two. Let, just teeth. let's do it and get it over with okay. and get on with Jeff. the show. Jeff, mm -hmm. Charlie, yeah. Tony, Josh, Patrick, oh, me, you, Dan, Kevin, and Jason. I've, 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 oh, I've got. Uh, here's who I've got. I've got, I've got, uh, Char I've got Josh. I've got uh, Jason. I've got Charlie. I've got you, Phil. I've got <laughs> Jeff. I've got Kevin. I've got Patrick. I've got uh, Dan, and I've got Tony. Is and that it? I don't Kevin. see oh, Tony I mean on, on YouTube. You're not I got nine people on YouTube without Tony. 
without Tony. Okay, yeah. so what I got to do... You got to remember, YouTube's 30 seconds behind, too. Oh, yeah, that's here, right. Here, 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 we go. here we go. Yeah. Now, there we go. Okay. So you, you got to do the count on Skype okay. because yeah. that's the current. Yep. So is that uh, that would be with nine people, right? No, ten. Ten. Got I ten got, I got, I've got <laughs> nine people here, Phil. <laughs> you counted nine, but you didn't have Tony in your count. No, right. I do have Tony in my count as ninth. All right. You're counting okay. Alex? <laughs> yes, I'm I counting me. Ten. I see ten. I see ten. Yeah. On top of my screen, including me. That's all good. Let's move on. Who, who isn't there? Who isn't there? Yeah. No. no Everybody's no, there. No, and they're all no, moving. No. Yeah. Is, is Do I have Dan in there? I yeah. have Dan in well, there? I don't... I'm here. I have four, and the, I, I, uh, I give up. I, uh, uh, I'm telling I you right six, now. I got six bubbles and four yep. big Jason ones. is left. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've got nine people plus me. Patrick's hand is numb. Nine people plus you is ten. Nine people plus you. That's ten. Oh, that's nine. what I'm saying. I'm right, about that's, ready that's to. That's a full house. Well, you. then, what, what you, I, that's what I was saying. I got nine people of you and one of me. <laughs> yeah, that's well, you got to get that you makes to get to the full house. Fuck, I, I'm giving up. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Why do I even have to do this? Yes, uh, Patrick. Uh, well, I see Jason left. I, I want. No, no, he just walked away. Oh, yeah, he well, he's there. Well, then we only have eight people now. Eight <laughs> plus yourself, and we got Jason's room. Well, we got to start the count all over again. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say, I, Pat? I, Patrick was talking. What, Patrick? What, what I was going to say is, uh, again, bouncing off what Jason was talking about with uh, that the Florida squad should start diverting the racism thing to the illegal alien issue. And what I was going to say is they're not smart enough to do that because they are not, they have not the experience. And that's where somebody like Nancy Pelosi, they should take her guidance because she's been there. She would know how to guide the discussion. But those four women, they want to extricate themselves and be all by themselves as a squad because they're all special. They see themselves as that because they're the freshmen and they're the most popular right now. And what they need to do, just like everybody that enters a new company, they need to shut up and they need to listen sometime to the people who know, who have been there. And that's where this discussion, oh, okay. you said the last week, has not been about the border anymore. It's been about these poor women and supposed racism. And they themselves have screwed up the whole plan for the party. Well, no. let me let me let me uh, disagree with you to a certain extent here. Okay, to begin with, you have to appreciate the position they're in. To begin with, AOC, a lot of attention has been paid to her because she's camera friendly. Okay, and yeah, then, and, and, and and by the way, fairly well spoken when she says stuff. I mean, she she yeah, she's very smart. She's very smart. Uh, so she's easy on the eyes, and she's smart, and she's always good for a quote, so the press is always there. The, uh, out of the other two women, the, the uh, Somalian, what's her name? Uh, Il Omar, uh, Ilian oh. Omar or something. Oh, Omar. Ilian Omar. Ilian Omar uh, has yeah. been talking a lot because she feels that she's really been the one put upon because more than anybody else, she's the one that fits the... The thing of being from another country. Oh, yeah, that's what... Yeah, and and, and what I've heard her say has been very measured and very good. And she's just saying, this isn't about me. This is about all people who come to this country looking for a better life, you know. And she's, yeah. been, ta she's been talking about that. I think if you listen to these people, they're, they're not really rabble-rousing, okay? No. Uh, yeah, and, taking you, away from the message that I think the party is trying to do, and they're the ones that keep putting Trump back in the news. And everybody on this panel has said at various times, you got to stop talking about Trump because you well, just... Trump was the one who started the, the, the concentration camps down there. I mean, he didn't start them, but he, he exacerbated them. 
So, you know, you got to mention his name because he is the president. <laughs> if, if we didn't talk about Trump, we wouldn't have a show. Well, but, you know, I, I wouldn't blame AOC or those or, or the women for uh, putting Trump in the news. I would blame the news for putting Trump in the yeah. news every time. Oh, yeah. I, I think that, that uh, you know, I mean, I, I yearn for the days when we had a president who maybe we heard from maybe twice a week. OK, uh, this is a guy who gets up in the morning and says, OK, how am I going to get my face on TV today? I mean, every, right. every time he walks out of the White House to the to the uh, to the helicopter, he does a press conference. Do you know any other president who did that? Hey, what you do know? they say about publicity? All publicity is what? It's good not, publicity. Uh, well, See, that's that's what Trump then, a, then ask Harvey Trump Weinstein is. and uh, Kevin Spacey if that's true. Uh, well, it is now. You know. <laughs> no, it, 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 but look, that's the thing with, with the squad. I mean, they're, they're getting the press as well, and every time they keep talking about the racism or whatever... The press isn't covered when they talk about other stuff. I see them on the news all the time, and like I you said, know? there are other things like the border that haven't even been touched for a because week. Because the, the That's press isn't asking AOC Yeah, yeah but if they, even if, if, if Patrick, Patrick, Patrick false. hold on a second. <laughs> even if they talked about the... They are talk, people are talking it, it, about the border. Even if they talked it's about the border... It's been last week since all these tweets well, hold, and everything we, hey, that... Hey, Pat, uh, Dan, let me just say what I had to say. All right, go ahead. Uh, it, you know, it's the press who decides and picks and chooses what the main topics of conversation are going to be every day. And if all of a sudden they started talking about the border, uh, the press wouldn't be picking up on what they were saying. Okay. They only pick up on the other stuff. That, that's what I'm saying. You know, it, you got to blame the press and not uh, all of them because they're yeah. all looking for the sexiest story they can run. But, right. but those four women, I, they don't seem to have the smarts enough to listen to their elders either who would have the ability to strategize with them. I don't, I I don't think, I, I, the I don't think they should. What were you saying? What were you saying, Charlie? So that's only the way the press portrays them. When they talk about other stuff, the press won't fucking cover it. They yeah. won't put on the news when they talk about the border. They they've been talking about it all week, but you don't see it on the news. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you got to remember the uh, the uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, OAC went down to the border. She went down to those camps. Yeah. She saw them. She talked about them. They yeah. covered they covered her moderately. But, yeah, that was, yeah, it was like last week. But you know, it, it, we talked about it this week. Yeah. But you know, that is maybe that they do need to listen to their elders to a point and learn oh, how the, 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 well, the, I, I, I'm I, saying I, I, just to learn the art of how you're gonna do what you're doing because I, I I'm a, I'm on the four girl side, man. You know the. the they should be shouting out about what's going on right now, but they also should be, you know, with the racism with Trump, but they also need to curve it to what, you know, they have been talking about in the past with the borders. They need to learn how to curve it the right way. It's just, I don't think they're doing well, it. Part of, the, part, part of the problem is, is that... There's plenty of people to do that. Yeah. Uh, part of the problem is the story, the big story, and the press, is cho press every day chooses what the big story is. The big story has been Trump telling these women to go back where they came from. Initially, he said it, right. and it was so moronic because only one of them was from someplace else, okay? And he didn't even realize that. But that became the story. So now when they go to these four women, what they want from them is they don't want them to say, well, we don't want to talk about that, but let's talk about the border, in which case they turn their cameras off and go looking for another story. You know, so it, wow. it, it, it's it's really what the press chooses to cover them doing. I happen to think these are four sharp women who are getting the Democratic Party to change its conscience. And I think we need that. At you, least they're you know, trying to. I don't the, know if they're the, succeeding the, yet. But I think they're the they, same they, ones that are they, changing it from manhole to maintenance they, hole. They, they, they <laughs> no, may, they, I think, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me finish. They may okay. be... Uh, uh, they may be uh, 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 seem to be a little radical and uh, seem to be uh, you know making a lot of noise, 
But that's what's needed. You know, we need that element. It's only four of them, you know. Uh, but they are saying something that I think needs to be said. And I think that you can't just say, oh, Nancy Pelosi is the end all of the Democratic Party. No, these four women are the new Democratic Party. These are the women coming up, and they are trying to make a difference within their small little group. Yes, uh, yes, uh, Dan. Oh, Phil had his well, hand. Oh, oh, Phil had his I hand. Wait, Phil, wait a minute. Uh, Hold on, Dan. Phil had his hand up first, then all right. we'll go to Okay, you. go ahead. And don't cut me off on this. Uh, I think that uh, AOC is hey, using Alex, Trump. Hey, Alex, did you hear don't cut him off on this? Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> AOC is using Trump's tactics on Trump. She is she is actually kind of uh, doing exactly what he did. And what she's trying to do is stay in the news so she can get reelected. I think this is more about her reelection Phil, than Phil, anything Phil, else. Let me beginning. finish. You know, but you're uh, wrong. You're wrong because no, her reelection right is like now, uh, almost two years away, okay? It doesn't matter. Right now, her approval rating is 11 percent. And 11 uh, percent among who? who? Among uh, who? AOC. Uh, among who? Her district. Uh, no, oh, I, cool. I disagree yeah, with you. Her district, <laughs> her district this, this absolutely is, loves her, Phil. I well, live this here. This is what I heard on the news. Well, which, which news? Fox news? I don't know which well, news. Well, we know which news, Phil. Her so, so, yeah. so <laughs> but if you, if you look at that, you can say to yourself that what she's doing is trying to stay in the news, getting the free publicity that she can get. So that Phil, when it's Phil, time to uh, get Phil, elected, isn't there a possibility that she's doing what she's doing because she thinks it's for the good of the country and she thinks it needs to be said? Uh, we'll see. I think she's just trying to cash in. Well, how's she no cashing in? She, she's, a, she's a shoe in to get reelected in her in yeah. her district. No right, question. I'll look it, it up. Yeah. What her okay. approval rating is. I think Phil just proves that Republicans. I think I figured out with Republicans. It's all projection. Yep. Everything that Republicans say about Democrats is all projection. Yeah. Because that's what Phil's doing right now. Because he can't imagine that that somebody would do something for genuine reasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it's, not fair. Uh, because uh, Republicans, <laughs> they, they're not that way. And by the way, uh, of, I think of, Trump. Is I, doing I, the let me let me argue something also, Patrick. That of the four women, only two of them really have done much talking, and that's OAC and Omar, and Omar because she was the main person being attacked by Trump. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it was Omar who opened her yap and said that it's up to the speaker to come to us for a meeting rather than us go to her. I thought that was pretty ballsy considering. Uh, you're a young flash in the pan that just getting a little bit of publicity, yeah. you know, again, you might want to shut your mouth and listen to some of your elders and get some fucking experience before you start running your mouth. Mm-hmm. And I, I, when I heard that, and I don't like no it, but I do believe that there's a hierarchy that when you get to a job, you learn from the people who have been there before. You know, and, and like I said, when she said it's up to Pelosi to come to me or to come to us, I thought, you got to be shitting me. That That's pretty ballsy. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yes, uh, Patrick. Too. I mean, NBC, uh-huh. uh, Washington Examiner. Which way does the Washington Examiner go? Uh, very right wing. Right? Okay, what about right. CNBC? CNBC uh, is Alexandria Ocasio Cortez's approval rating in New York declines following Amazon, yada yada. Amazon, uh, what? Following yeah, Amazon, what? Amazon, what? What? Read the article. What? Amazon, what? The, those uh, things. Amazon, I have to press on uh, uh, Following York. Amazon deal collapse while Trump hammers Democrats over socialism. All right. All right. Now go and look at the date on that article. Yeah, that was months Last ago. Year. Uh, looks like March. Okay. So it's old news, Last Phil. Year. Well, no, but the other the other polls are recent, and, but and, uh, you, you, you and, won't and, like and, where no. they come from. What, uh, and, and what, did, what, did, what, what did the one about Amazon say was her approval rating? Uh, that one uh, didn't say what her approval rating is. The other it's, one said they were 21 and 22 percent. Uh, and, um, Fo- well, Fox News. Well, that's higher than Congress's approval rating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. No, this is this is in her district. Said the, uh, here's one business no. insider. 
uh, not, uh, it says poll representative Cortez had 22% approval rating amongst uh, 1,003 white non-college educated voters that knew her. Oh, I, I see. Uh, and and what's, white, what's the date? What's, 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 uh, what's the date on that article, uh, Phil? What's, uh, what's the date on that article? Uh, what's the date uh, on that article? Business Fox Insider. News is demographic. What's the date uh, on that article? I'm, I'm looking. Uh, uh, July 15th, 2019. Mm hmm business insider uh yeah a particular part the old part uneducated part of her district well that's her, her whole district. district phil what do you think the bronx is phil, is, it, she, you know, she she will she will get reelected. bronx and queens i would i will bet you money she she get you, get you, <laughs> you know only hey, 17 about tony there only 17 percent of the voters came out during that election that's why that joe whatever his name is uh joe lost his seat Crowley. Joe Crowley. That's why he that lost his up. seat because of such a low voter turnout. Did you go vote, Tony? No, I didn't. Ah, See? It's your fault. No. That Joe so, Crowley is unemployed. Joe Crowley, actually, he don't even live in Queens. I hear he lives in Virginia. I'm not bullshitting yeah. about that. The Crowleys yeah, are powerful here. They're all, the Crowleys have been in politics for, but he's been here for like forever since since I, I could be like 15 years, 20 years easy. So was Trump. He's about his late 60s, Crowley, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, the Crowleys are big. They're all lawyers or into politics. Well, all I'm saying is, is that that you know they were the subject of a uh, tirade by Trump, and they took the bait and they fought back. You know, uh, trying to uh, fight for their honor, as it were. Um, so you can't blame them for that. The only thing I would blame them for is yes. Maybe they're not seasoned enough to know the best thing you can do is just not respond to it because that will drive Trump crazy. And that's the one thing that all the Democrats should know. If you don't mention Donald Trump in your running. You know what they should do, The girl, those women? They should actually play a joke at him and say how great he looks. I wonder how he would react to that. Like, that Trump, he really is one sexy guy. I wonder what he would say to that. Well, to, begin, they to, be, to begin with, we know what a lying bunch of fuckers Congress is if they said that. Yes, uh, uh, Dan. <laughs> they don't even have to We're say that. Running well, out of I was time. just going to say, uh, like it or not, Trump is popular. And if you talk about Trump, love him or hate him, you're going to get the cameras on you. So yep. there's that. But all in all, I really uh, think uh, those uh, those the squad. I really like them. Uh, you know, they are very camera friendly, very attractive. I'll say that. But uh, at the same time, Dan, you, know, you think a blow up doll is said, camera but, friendly? Uh, whatever. I mean, they're saying what needs to be said. If they're not a hundred percent perfect, yeah, they they they'll need more experience to kind of fine tune their game a little bit. But you know they're uh, they're they're just striking all the fires hot. So. Well, if you listen closely, that's our theme, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, got a lot of people here now. You hardly said anything tonight, Jeff. But hi, <laughs> uh, and, and I don't know, Josh. You haven't even jumped in at all tonight. Eh, sorry. Yeah, well, no, that's okay. You know, if you don't mind it, we don't mind it. But you're you're so damn smart. We like hearing from you as much as we can. Uh, I'll be here next week. Thank you, and thank you, Jason, and thank you, Charlie, and thank you, Phil, and thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Kevin, and thank you, Patrick, and thank you, Dan, and thank you, Tony. Hey, I got them all. I'm not losing my marbles as bad as I thought I was. Anyway, uh, why don't you all uh, give a big uh, wave goodbye? And I'll wave back at you, okay? And that's our that's our citizen panel for tonight. Um, let me hang up on them and unceremoniously, and get rid of my uh, my Skype. Well, uh, uh, I left it. Uh, I left. It. Hold on a second. I gotta I gotta uh, put the Skype back on so that I can turn the uh, 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 so I can turn my my Skype off. There we go. Okay, I want to get rid of the, uh, make myself invisible. There we go. Okay, that's it. All right, that takes care of it. Hey, listen, that's it for tonight. That's it for the week. Uh, we're back again on Tuesday. Uh, Jack Bishop and the intersection is next over most of the same station. I'll see you on Tuesday night uh, right here uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime,
If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend.